Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Got another quick knife unboxing video for you. And this comes from White Mountain Knives. I ordered it. I can't remember when I ordered it. But it came pretty pretty fast. But anyways, knife I'm carrying today. Starting out is this Honey Badger. Small drop point. I won this off from... A giveaway on EDC TV. You can see it's 8CR 13 MOV. This is pretty, pretty sweet little knife. But of course, my unpacking opening knife is the Rough Rider Tadpole, or also known as the Angry Watermelon. But yeah, let's get let's get into this. So. I've been interested in this knife since I've seen videos on it. And I ended up getting a, a version that I have not seen any videos on. Like I said, I got this from White Mountain Knives. And he carries these. Um, right now, last I looked, they're all sold out, but it is a petrified fish. So like I said, White Mountain Knives carries petrified fish now. Um, and he had a bunch, you know, a lot of models, a lot of variations, but he's getting sold out on them. And this one actually has a sticker on it. The other one I got, which came directly from the manufacturer, did not have any identification of what knife it was. So that's good. As you can see, Petrified Fish, PFP01 or P01DW. Okay, so let's get this open. So, oh, well, you get, in this model, you get silver hardware, extra instead of black. But you still get the Teflon and bronze washers. You can swap out from bearings to washers. Nice little microfiber cloth. That feels really, really nice. Has a logo right there. So, here's the knife. This is the <clears throat> Beluga or the PFP01. But better known as the Beluga. That's pretty cool. So, got a tag on here. Take that off. I can figure it out. See a lot of people just cut these, but should be able to disconnect it. If I ever sell it, I'll put it back on it. Oh, come on. My fingers are too fat to push it in. There we go. Now I can get it off. There, there. Get all the stuff out of the way. Close up the angry watermelon. Yeah, I got the all black version and it's kind of neat. Um, a little faded right there. Got a little fade up there. I don't know if that's intentional or, but it kind of looks cool. Kind of, kind of makes it look like my Carta. It's definitely a G10. Um, yeah, 
nice all black. I have not seen any videos on the all black one on the Petrified Fish website. They don't have it listed. It's the only place I found it. I had two options. Um, the the sandblasted blade and the green G10, which I kind of like, but I opted for the black and yeah. So right off the bat, <clears throat> like I said, got black G10. Got a couple of fade marks in there. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but I like it. Got the PF logo um, pivot, black hardware, black pocket clip, black G10 backspacer. You can see the pocket clip, deep carry, and kind of like the honey badger. It folds over, goes down on the inside of the scale, and there's nothing absolutely nothing in the way there's plenty of room got the blue good name on the side um so yeah it's actually a front flipper so first flip let's try it oh yeah yeah i'm digging this now I don't know what kind of coating is on this and or how long it'll last because it doesn't specify anywhere that I can see. You have the Nashorn Maker's Mark right there. That is a actually a stampeding rhino. And supposedly this is his first um knife design, first knife. And you can follow him on Instagram. If I can find the proper name and link and stuff, I'll put that in the description. I just started following him. He's got some cool stuff. This side's PFP01, and it's K110 Steel. Now, I never dealt with K110 Steel. Supposedly it's a lot like D2. It's not really corrosion resistant, but it's very close to stainless. And let me tell you, that is an awesome flat grind. That, that is very, very, very sharp. Um, yeah, you also have this fuller on both sides. You supposed to be able to oh yeah yeah I can I can spidey flick this how about thumb open oh yeah that, that is ridiculous this thing is ridiculously smooth wow and like I don't know if I mentioned these are listed at $46.99 you can't beat that I used a discount <coughs> code from another YouTube channel that I subscribe to. So I got this for $42.29. Less than $43. Bucks. And like I said, I don't know what coating is on this. I've never dealt with K110 steel. But let me tell you, I'm liking, I'm liking this. And something I've noticed from watching other reviews is they complained about that being kind of not sharp but kind of pointy i think they um i think they changed that tip and that flipper tab another thing you had chimping you know for the front flipper that when you opened it it was like from here to here so you didn't have any any sort of jimping on top of the blade looks like on this one it's been extended and um you got got a little jimping on on top there and that's i mean it's coated so it's not as 
sharp as it would be, but it's it works. Man, the handle fits in my hand. Man, that's nice. It's definitely a bigger knife, thicker knife, um, taller. Liner lock, lockup is about perfect. Absolutely no blade play in this. Um, gotta like that deep carry pocket clip. G10 backspacer with hidden, get it in the light so you can see, the hidden lanyard post. That's awesome. No extra holes in the blade. Um, man, this thing is just, wow. 40 for 47 bucks normal and I'm digging this no doubt um, take some quick measurements everything on the uh, about eight and a quarter inches overall length everything on the petrified fish website is all in millimeters and centimeters and you got about four and five eighths handle. Got a three and five eighths. Yeah, about a three and five eighths blade. Cutting edge, about the same. Um, rest we can do with mics or with the calipers. Zero it out, so the blade width, height, is, where's the widest, I'm going to go back here, One one point three two inches, handle is, height is 1.1. Nine zero, so it's definitely taller, taller blade, taller handle. Handle thickness is pretty wide. A little over half an inch, point five eight six. Blade stock is looks pretty thick. Is zero point one four eight and a half, so zero point one four nine. But man. I suck at taking behind the edge readings, but I'll try. Get it on there where I can see it. I'm getting about 14 thousandths behind the edge. That is, that is slicey was my piece of paper. This thing. Wow. Get started. That is super, super sharp. Um, what else? Well, it's this rides on washers, big ball bearing washers out of the ceramic steel. But like I said, they give you um, washers. Now I love them knives. He put, he took the bearings out when he was disassembling it, showing everyone what it's made out of. Put He stacked these, the nylon and the brass, because that's the thickness of the, the bearings. And you got to have it. It's recessed into the liner, so you got to fill up the gap. So if you don't want bearings, you're worried about getting sand or, you know, something in the bearings and screwing them up, definitely go with washers. And right now, if you have the washers in here, I'll tell you, this is a hard-to-use knife. <clears throat> got a, you know, the tip is... Not super dainty, but it's 
it's pretty pointy. But you have this way they do this little kind of swedge up here. Gives it some beef behind it. Um, man. Oops. That fuller. That works like a spidey hole. That, that works like a hole. It's not, it's not overly sharp or anything. Just enough edge to catch. You know, it's not tearing my fingernail up. Um, index finger. Oh, yeah. This thing's probably one of those ones you get good. That's a ring finger. Yeah, almost, almost pinky. Now, I don't, if anybody knows, I do have um, neuropathy in my hand where I don't, I can't feel very good and all that. So, to be able to do that so easy, I'm loving it. Front flipper, that's excellent. Detent, detent is excellent. I could shake it out. Um, find that under the camera. Move my cup out of the way. But off camera, yeah, I can. You, you can probably hear that. I can flip it, flip it out. Um, liners, kind of hard to see. Full, um, full liners, but they are skeletonized. I don't know. Yeah, you can see they're they're milled out pretty pretty good, pretty extensive. Um, there's the detent ball. Kind of looks like a ceramic ceramic to me. I don't know. Bearings, I can barely see them. It might be ceramic ball bearings. I'm not. Well, it does look like it. Hard to tell. Hard to tell until I tear it apart someday. But man, I'm liking it. Video's going long, so let's do some size comparisons. Oops. Rat model one. Ontario rat model one. Um, the rats got it just by a little bit. <clears throat> I got the spider called paramilitary two. And the PM two's got it just a little bit. They both got it just, just some on the handle. The handle on these two are longer. Um, it's, um, how about that's made Tillion. Pretty close. The blue goes a little bit longer. How about the Spider Club Manix 2? They, they are pretty close. Yeah. Definitely. They're almost spot on overall length, anyways. Um, the Sig K320 by Hogue. Turning out to be one of my favorites. But yeah. Actually, the blue goes a little bit longer. And let's get in a couple other knives. How about the Orion Solaris? And yeah, the blue goes overall length longer. Blades longer. Handle. Handle is pretty close. Oh, another awesome knife. Button lock. How about the damn designs I don't know which one I got uh, the Wendigo damn designs Wendigo <clears throat> and since I have that out how about the damn designs Basilisk pretty close actually the Wendigo smaller the Bas Basilisk pretty pretty close um, nice it's got about the same curve same belly I like that um, 
this is a pretty tall flat grind this is this is essentially that's a full flat grind um yeah I, essentially this is a full flat grind you get that fuller um will that catch on any material you know media that you're cutting it may but i don't think it's going to be too much too much um interference you know that you can see what i've been flicking it's taking take a little nail off i think but yeah just an unboxing first impressions um i'm digging it and actually i don't think the g10 was faded i think that just had something on it because you can see it's going away handling it it's going away back here it's going away or wherever it was see i can't even tell where it was um yeah i like that g10 you can see the grain in it um i did not mind that little white spot i thought that was cool but yeah it's going away um maybe maybe hit it with a little mineral oil to doesn't feel dried out or anything but yeah the petrified fish beluga pf p01 and k110 steel i'm i'm very excited to try this steel out um like i said it's people have said it's it's very similar d2 it's not quite a stainless steel but the <clears throat> um hardness and everything edge retention is similar d2 and a couple reviews um it's, it might be even better than D2. And with this black coating, it's going to protect it. So, yeah, I'm like, you see a little oil coming out. But, yeah, geez. Check these out. Like I said, White Mountain Knife carries these. This particular model, the, the PFP01, the Beluga. I think they're all sold out right now, but. I'm sure he's going to be getting more in, and I didn't show you, compared to the Petrified Fish PF818, right there on a flipper tab, D2 steel, see the, the blade on this is completely unmarked, but yeah, their overall length, they're pretty pretty close the blue goes a little bit longer definitely a lot different in width all around but yeah i was so impressed with this one just a flipper tab but i wanted another one and i went with the, the beluga but yeah that's it like i said just a quick unboxing first impressions you know overview that type of video definitely be ready for full reviews and those two the uh, orion slayers and definitely the two um damn designs gotta do reviews on all of these and plus a couple more so stay tuned if you're not subscribed to the channel subscribe definitely Hit the like button. Definitely leave a comment down below. If you have any of the knives that I've shown. If you have this. Any petrified fish. The beluga. Um, let me know. Follow. Follow on Instagram. Nashorn Knives. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right. But Nashorn Knives. I'll try to leave a link. If I can find it. I do follow my Instagram now. Um, man, this is going in my pocket. Put this little guy away, which is an awesome budget knife. But yeah, this is going in my pocket. Along with the angry watermelon. So until the next video, bye.